Have I ever told you the trouble with a GI tract? No, it's not the setup to a joke. The trouble is that it's so long, there's just so much room for things to go wrong. Which is why we have dedicated a few sketches to the different causes of GI obstruction in kids. In this sketch, we'll be covering Hirschsprung's disease with the help of a horse spring ride and some fixtures from the golden age of the 90s, a mall and a video store. So get ready to grab yourself a soft pretzel and let's go to the mall. Hirschsprung's disease is the congenital absence of ganglion cells in the colon, hence its other name, congenital aganglionic megacolon. This occurs when the ganglion cells fail to fully migrate during fetal development, and is shown here by this unplugged neuron-like power cord. Without ganglion cells, the affected bowel is tonically contracted and unable to relax, resulting in an obstruction which causes dilation of the bowel proximal to this point. Hirschsprung's disease can also be classified based on the length of bowel affected. The most common of these is short segment disease, where the rectosigmoid segment is affected, hence this S-shaped spring, while long segment disease is where there is extension proximal to the sigmoid colon. Rarely the whole colon may be affected, and very rarely the large and small bowel can be affected. Understandably, the more bowel affected, the worse the prognosis. Given that these babies have an obstructed bowel at birth, you can expect to see a vast majority of cases in neonates, which is why this daredevil baby is on the horse spring ride he is way too young for. Where are his parents? Only about 10% of cases are diagnosed in kids older than 3 years of age, with school-age kids often having a milder presentation with chronic constipation and failure to thrive. You can see this represented by this school-age kid standing in front of the bathroom with a plunger, asking his parents for help. I'll leave it up to your imagination as to why.